Today on Medical Montana, I'm visiting with Dr. Wyatt Rasmussen here at the Cascade Hearing and Audiology in Great Falls. Dr. Rasmussen, I know that one of the issues that's pretty common, and you probably see a fair amount of this, um, I would refer to it as just ringing of the ears. I know lots of people that struggle with it, I myself do. Uh, is it as common as it seems? It's pretty common, and you can call it tinnitus or tinnitus. Either way, it's going to cause the same symptoms. Depending on where you live, people will call it different names. But, um, you know, I think they say roughly 45 million uh, Americans have some form of tinnitus. What actually is it? So tinnitus is different for everyone. That's why it's kind of hard to kind of nail down what exactly it is. But basically, it's an internal noise within your own head. So it can sound different. Some people it sounds like a pulsating, some other people it sounds like it's a ringing or a whooshing. It can actually match up in, with your heartbeat and then we call that pulsatile tinnitus because it basically you, it goes along with the beat of your heart. And is there, a, is there a, a cause, a particular cause, or do we know? There's you know, a whole lot of things that can cause it, but the main one that we do know is noise exposure. You know, you can get issues from stress, drugs, um, and other things, but really noise exposure goes hand in hand with tinnitus. Interesting, okay. So now uh, the big question, uh, is there help for people that have this issue? There is help, you know, you'll see things on TV that say, you know, there's a cure or whatnot. There's no known medical cure, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of things that we can do to help it, including hearing aids. Uh, that'll often help soothe it or help it actually be reduced greatly. A lot of it is just actually getting some rehabilitation to learn how to kind of cope with it. Um, but there's definitely a lot of options as far as helping and getting help for the ringing or tinnitus. Yeah, I notice that some people will use like white noise to help balance it out and... and uh... Yep, the trouble sleeping at night, just turning a fan on can often help sure. with that. Sure, okay. Well, we'll talk more about this, but thank you. For more information on hearing loss, contact Cascade Hearing and Audiology.